Hello everyone, my name is Juno and I'm here to show you ways on how to take care of your microphones. We have seen people recently clean their microphones because of, you know, virus and everything and, uh, you know, uh, just uh, personal hygiene. Um, one way of not doing it is to spray directly to a microphone with an alcohol spray. We've seen that done so many times and it freaks me out when people do that. Um, a microphone is built to accept air pressure. So um, that's how it picks up audio. Uh, so if you spray directly, I'm quite sure that alcohol will go and seep into the diaphragm. First, my advice is to bring your own microphone. Here on the table are uh, microphones from Sennheiser that I have in my toolbox for different purposes. The E945, I usually give to a main vocalist because uh, it has a super cardioid pattern that makes the main vocalist cut through the mix. The two uh, new dynamic mics from Sennheiser, the MD445 and the MD435. The A35 that I use for myself at the control booth because it has an on-off switch that I can use for uh, quick voiceovers. And we have the new EWD uh, wireless microphone from Sennheiser here. And the current favorite for uh, uh, people who do uh, uh, recordings at home for podcasting and everything, the Sennheiser MK4. We have some cleaning uh, stuff here, you know, we have uh, stuff from Deoxit from uh, HX Pro. This is an audio video survival kit that contains everything that you will need to clean electronics on the road. It has wipes for gold uh, connections, some uh, wipes there too, some fader uh, grease, and a little bit of the D5 same one here that I use regularly for equipment for just cleaning contacts and everything. So for this demo, I would first thing I would recommend is to bring your own microphones. Um, it's like you know a, a guitarist bringing his own guitar to a gig. A vocalist nowadays should have their own microphone so that you know you know the weight of it. You know. You look good uh, in pictures when you carry your own microphones and you know that your sound signature is consistent for all your shows. But if you don't have your own microphone, I recommend bringing a foam that you can put on the house microphone so that you have a protection from whatever viruses or bacteria that has accumulated on the microphone for you now with the use from the other singers. That's one thing. Um, if you do have to spray, let's say with an alcohol uh, uh, spray bottle, you can spray it on a Microtex cleaning cloth. Some people use mouthwash makes some sense but i use gobi labs microphone sanitizers it has less alcohol but more um, cleaning uh, agents so you spray some on the microtex fiber and just rub it on the grill but before you do that make sure you tell your sound engineer that you're doing that because by doing so will cause some feedback if the mic is open so giving it a good few rubs on the grill, on the handle, and your microphone is good to go. Now, if you want to do some thorough cleaning, you can take the grill off. Let's, now, let's do it with, with the 965. So you can see how beautiful the capsule on this one is. Okay. Make sure you put it on a table where it doesn't slide. You can take the foam out of the grill. If I can take it out. 
Oops. This is washable. You can wash this with some soap and water, let it dry. If you see, you can see through the grill. See, you can see my finger inside. That's how much air passes through. And this is what, this is the only thing that protects the capsule from anything else. So air passes through the grill freely. So if you spray alcohol there, it might actually damage the diaphragm, okay? So when this dries, you just put it back in. You're good to go. If you look at the MK4, which is a large diaphragm microphone with a uh, single uh, polar pattern, which is right here, uh, cardioid on this side, you can actually see the diaphragm. See, it's inside. And there's nothing in between the diaphragm and the grill. So imagine if you spray directly on the microphone, the grill, for sure, you'll get the diaphragm wet. You may not damage the microphone right away, but repeated times of doing that will definitely cause some damage. So make sure you don't do that. Another thing that you can do if you really want to go the extra mile is if you are coming into a show using a microphone that's a wireless microphone. This one is at the EWD, the new one from Sennheiser. Let's say the house microphone is also a Sennheiser. You can take the capsule of your microphone and just swap it with theirs so that you're using your own capsule with their transmitter. You don't have to set up your own transmitter and receiver and you just put it there and then just take it out after you're done. Let's say they have, they don't have a Sennheiser uh, transmitter, they have Shure. You can get one of these adapters from Oda's DAS or microphones that fits to your, in your uh, Sennheiser capsule. And then this one will fit into the Shure um, transmitter. They also have the other way, meaning a Shure capsule to a Sennheiser transmitter, it will fit. So there, so when you're done, you take out your capsule and put back their own. So you don't get to use theirs. You don't have, you didn't have to bother setting up your, tra your, uh, your, uh, your uh, transmitter and receiver and you're off to your next gig. So taking good care of your microphones is simple. Number one, Never do that. Never spray anything directly on the microphone. Spray some on a microfiber cloth and rub it. Clean the, out the exterior and you're good. Bring your own foams, cover their microphones, And when you're done, take it off. Bring your own capsule, swatch, switch it with your own, and take it back when you're done. Or better yet, bring your own dynamics and uh, so that you don't have to uh, uh, think about sanitation and your signature sound. It's simple. If you take care of your gear, your gear will take care of you. You have a good show. You don't have to worry about viruses and everything. And uh, that's it. Next time we do cleaning for IEMs. This, I know it looks kind of kinky, but it's actually a small vacuum cleaner that can clean like really uh, if these parts get dirty, you can clean it with a little vacuum like that. So that's it guys, take care of your microphones. These are, you know, investments to uh, um, put on a good show and uh, 
Yeah, that's it. Thank you to Sennheiser, to Deoxit, to Audis Dasser, and uh, to Sonax and Microtex for all the stuff that they sent. Thank you. That's it.